क्लास एट साइंस चैप्टर 17 स्टार्स इन द सोलर सिस्टम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सोलर सिस्टम द सन एंड द सेलिशियल बॉडीज व्हिच रिवॉल्व अराउंड इट फॉर्म द सोलर सिस्टम इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ बॉडीज सच एज प्लैनेट्स कॉमेट्स एस्टेरॉइड्स मीटियोर्स the gravitational attraction between the sun and these objects keep them revolving around it there are eight planets that revolve around the sun the eight planets in their order of distance from the sun are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune till 2006 there were nine planets in the solar system pluto was the farthest yani ki sabse dur planet from the sun in 2006 the international astronomical union that is iau adopted a new definition of a planet pluto does not fit in this definition so it is no longer a planet of the solar system this is the diagram now you can remember these planets from this sentence my very excellent mother just served as noodles that is m for mercury v venus e earth m mars J for Jupiter, S Saturn, U Uranus, N Neptune. My very excellent mother just served as noodles. Clear? These are in the order from the sun. Now, the sun. The sun is the nearest star from us. it is continuously emitting huge amounts of heat and light the sun is the source of almost all energy on the earth in fact the sun is the main source of heat and light for all the planets now come to the planets the planets look like stars but they do not have light of their own they only reflect the sunlight that falls on them the simplest method to identify planets from stars is that stars twinkle whereas planets do not also the planets keep changing their positions with respect to the stars now this table gives the differences between stars and planets stars have their own light planets do not have their own light stars twinkle at night planets do not twinkle stars appear as point objects as they are very far from earth planets appear as a disk as they are closer to the earth the stars do not change their positions with respect to each other as they are fixed at a point planets change their position with respect to each other as they revolve around the sun there are millions of stars in the galaxy there are only 8 planets in the galaxy a star has a very high temperature planets have low temperature as compared to stars a planet has a definite path in which it revolves around the sun this path is called an orbit the time taken by a planet to complete one revolution is called its period of a revolution the period of revolution increases as the distance of the planet increases from the sun planet move in their own orbits so do not collide while revolving around the sun besides revolving around the sun a planet also rotates on its own axis like a top like this clear the time taken by a planet to complete one rotation is called its period of rotation satellite 
any celestial body revolving around another celestial body is called its satellite the earth can be said to be satellite of the sun according to this definition although generally we call it a planet of the sun so we use the term satellite for the bodies revolving around the planets jo planets ke charon taraf body revolve kar rahi hai unko hum bolte hain satellite for example moon is a satellite of the earth there are many man made satellites revolving around the earth these are called artificial satellites astronomy in ancient india many indian scholars have contributed to astronomy one of the most well known astronomers is aryabhata the work of aryabhata on astronomy can be found in his writing aryabhatiya this is the book okay written by aryabhata he wrote it in 499 ce ce means current era at the age of 23 years the diameter of the earth as stated by aryabhata is close to its presently known value disregarding the popular view that earth earth is achal that is immovable yani ki us samay ye mana jata tha ki earth ek jagah sthir hai achal hai lekin aryabhata ne bataya stay aryabhata stated that earth is sphere and rotates on its own axis he estimate his estimate about the sidereal period of earth was 23 hours 56 minutes and 4.1 seconds which is very close to the presently known value which is 24 hours okay very close he also correctly stated that moon and the planets shine due to reflected sunlight he also gave a scientific explanation for solar and lunar eclipses when the shadow of the earth falls on the moon shadow of the earth falls on the moon it causes lunar eclipse when the shadow of the moon falls on the earth it causes solar eclipse clear aryabhata also found the distance between the earth and the moon which is very close to the known value today now we will discuss planets one by one first come to the mercury this is also known as budh the planet mercury is nearest to the sun it is the smallest planet of our solar system because mercury is very close to the sun it is very difficult to observe it as most of the time it is hidden in the glare of the sun however it can be observed just before sunrise or just after sunset near the horizon so it is visible only at places where trees or buildings do not obstruct the view of the horizon mercury has no satellite of its own next one is venus shukra venus is the earth's nearest planetary neighbor <coughs> अर्थ के सबसे पास जो प्लेनेट है वो वीनस है इट इज द ब्राइटेस्ट प्लेनेट इन द नाइट स्काई समटाइम्स वीनस अपीयर्स इन द ईस्टर्न स्काई बिफोर सनराइज समटाइम्स इट अपीयर्स इन द वेस्टर्न स्काई जस्ट आफ्टर सनसेट देयर फोर इट इज ऑफन कॉल्ड ए मॉर्निंग और एन इवनिंग स्टार ऑल दो इट इज नॉट ए स्टार वीनस हैज नो मून और सैटेलाइट ऑफ इट्स ऑन rotation of venus on its axis is sometimes somewhat unusual it rotates from east to west while the earth rotates from west to east venus can be recognized by its brightness venus cannot be seen very high in the sky it can be observed either 1 to 3 hours before sunrise or 1 to 3 hours after sunset it means that on venus the sun would rise in the west and set in the east clear yeah? in the venus sun would rise in the west and set in the east if you observe venus through a telescope 
you will observe that venus shows phases just like the moon see this diagram phases of venus okay now next one is the earth prithvi the earth is the only planet in the solar system on which life is known to exist some special environmental conditions are responsible for the existence and continuation of life on the earth now what are these special conditions these include the right distance from the sun so that it has the right temperature range the presence of water and suitable atmosphere and a blanket of ozone from space the earth appears blue green due to the reflection of light from water and land mass on its surface the axis of rotation of the earth is not perpendicular to the plane of its orbit remember it axis of rotation of the earth is not perpendicular to the plane of its orbit the tilt is responsible for the change of seasons on the earth आप कह सकते हैं कि अर्थ थोड़ी सी टिल्टेड है टिल्टेड का मतलब झुकी हुई है और इस टिल्ट की वजह से ही जो हमारे अर्थ पर सीजन चेंज होते हैं इसी की वजह से होते हैं द अर्थ हैज ओनली वन मून अर्थ रोटेट्स ऑन अ टिल्टेड एक्सेस सी यू आर फेमिलियर विद द इक्वेटर ऑफ द अर्थ द प्लेन ऑफ द इक्वेटर इज कॉल्ड द इक्वेटोरियल प्लेन The plane in which the Earth revolves around the Sun is called the orbital plane of the Earth. See this diagram. This is the Earth, and this is the equatorial plane. This one, and this one is the Earth's orbital plane. These two planes are inclined to each other at an angle of 23.5 degree C. This is the angle of 23.5 degree. This means that the axis of the Earth is inclined, inclined means chuka hua, to its orbital plane at an angle of 66.5 degree. Now next one is Mars, Mangal. The first planet outside the orbit of the Earth is Mars. it appears slightly reddish and therefore it is also called the red planet mars has two small natural satellites mangalyaan indian space research organization isro i e s r o indian space research organization launched india's first mars orbiter mission m o m o m mars orbiter mission जिसको नाम दिया गया है मंगलयान ऑन नवंबर नवंबर 5, 2030, इट वाज सक्सेसफुली प्लेस्ड इनटू एन ऑर्बिट ऑफ मार्स ऑन सितंबर 24, 2014, विद दिस इंडिया बिकेम द फर्स्ट कंट्री रिमेंबर इंडिया बिकेम फर्स्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड टू डू सो इन इट्स फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट पहले ही अटेम्प्ट के अंदर इंडिया ने अपना एक व्हीकल अपना एक आप कह सकते हैं इसको यान मंगल ग्रह पे पहुंचाया ठीक है सबसे फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट के अंदर ही और यदि आपको परिचित है कि मिशन मंगल एक मूवी बनी हुई है इसके ऊपर जुपिटर बृहस्पति जुपिटर इज द लार्जेस्ट प्लेनेट ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम it is so large that about 1300 earths can be placed inside this giant planet now imagine 1300 earth ko jupiter jupiter ke andar rakha ja sakta hai jupiter ka size itna bada hai however the mass of jupiter is about 318 times that of our earth Jupiter has a large number of satellites it also has faint rings around it you can see this diagram you can easily recognize jupiter as it appears quite bright in the sky if you observe it with the help of telescope you can also see four of its large moons see this diagram this is the jupiter 
and these are its moons that is satellites next one is saturn shani beyond jupiter is saturn which appears yellowish in color it is unique in the solar system because of its beautiful rings see this is the diagram of saturn ring these are the rings around it okay these rings are not visible with the naked eye but can be seen with a small telescope saturn also has a large number of satellites one interesting thing about saturn is that it is the least dense among all the planets iski density sabse kam hoti hai its density is less than that of water aur yadi aapko jante hain यदि किसी भी ऑब्जेक्ट की डेंसिटी वाटर से कम है तो उसके ऊपर उसको यदि वाटर पर रखेंगे तो उसके ऊपर फ्लोट करेगा इफ यू इमेजिन आप इमेजिन करिए इफ यू इमेजिन सेटर्न इन अ लार्ज पूल ऑफ वाटर देन इट विल फ्लोट लाइक दिस नाउ नेक्स्ट यूरेनस एंड नेपच्यून दीज आर द आउटर मोस्ट प्लेनेट ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम they can be seen only with the help of large telescopes like venus uranus also rotates from east to west the most remarkable feature of uranus is that it has highly tilted rotational axis as a result in its orbital motion it appears to roll on its side diagram ko dekhiye aap ye is direction aisa lagta hai ki ye roll kar raha hai जब एक्सेस के अंदर ये रोटेट करता है द फर्स्ट फोर प्लेनेट मर्क्यूरी वेनस अर्थ एंड मार्स आर मच नियर द सन देन द अदर फोर प्लेनेट दे आर कार्ड द इनर प्लेनेट क्लियर मर्क्यूरी वेनस अर्थ एंड मार्स दीज आर इनर प्लेनेट द इनर प्लेनेट हैव वेरी फ्यू मूव द प्लेनेट आउटसाइड द ऑर्बिट ऑफ Mars, namely Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, are much farther off than the inner planets. They are called the outer planets. They have a ring system around them. The outer planets have large number of moons. Okay, thank you. Subscribe my channel to get the next video from this chapter.